Well, last year she released her third full-length solo album, Water or Gold, which received both rave reviews and award nominations. We've managed to nap her ahead of her upcoming three-date South Island tour. It is the incredible Holly Smith. Yeah! So great to have you in the studio with us. I know that Nathan wants to get a selfie with you uh, from earlier on from the, from the coffee the group. He's already there. said he wants to impress everybody and get the selfie. Uh, your latest album, Water or Gold, which is beautiful, uh, released last year. Quite a personal album for you, wasn't it? I think all of them are. I don't think you can avoid that. Um, yeah, it was. It was just different experiences that over a period of time, really. There was a couple of particularly personal songs, but just same, same. And how, how has the sound changed? Does it ever change for you, you know, when I mean, you grow as an artist? Did, was there a difference between, you know, humour and misfortune of others in this album? Yeah, the process was a lot different in writing-wise. With the first initial albums, I'd sort of always written on piano, whereas this one I did a lot more writing on guitar, so the tone definitely sort of shifted a little bit, a little bit more of a, just slightly more energetic, I think, maybe. What sort of time frame does it take? I'm, I'm fascinated by people can write songs because I think it's such an incredible talent. I mean, do you... Same. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you know when something good is coming or does it just, is it really an organic process? I think it can happen either way, otherwise you get on a roll and you've written a song within 10 minutes with lyrics and everything and you're like, okay, cool, that, those ones are great. Um, and then there's also the ones where you kind of have an idea and you just keep sort of chipping away at it and it slowly kind of comes together over time. Yeah. But. And is it hard to get through all that noise that's going on in your head? Yeah, the noise is tough sometimes. Um, <laughs> but you must buy milk. Day to day, yeah, yeah. It's kind of running, you know, running a business and doing that. You're sort of using two different, you know, sort of areas of your brain. So snapping out of doing some emails and admin into like, right. Now I'm going to be creative. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can get a bit, um, yeah, can f f schizophrenic maybe. Yeah. So this, this latest album, you recorded it here in New Zealand, but you mixed it in the US. It was a bit of a sprint to the finish line. Tell us oh, more about yeah, that. It was. Um, I think well, it's just a different process for me. Normally, I have a, you know sort of the whole band in a studio and performing, you know, hearing it the way that I want to hear it. Whereas this, we kind of did it a little bit more of a home studio job, just you know, for financial and just to try something different. Um, but mixing was always going to be really important, just to to get all those right sounds coming together and just sort of really polishing it off in the way that I kind of heard it in my head. So yeah, I did was doing a lot of vocals at home and then yeah managed to stretch the budget to get over there and make sure that we could get it really really nicely finished. And that makes a big difference doing that in stage. Made a huge difference, yeah, because we weren't going through all of the kind of um, soundy type things that we would in a studio. We were kind of putting mm. everything in quite raw, and so then it was very much sort of on the back end of it. Post production wise was pretty important. So yeah, that was a really really good process. There. No, and it is a brilliant album. My favourite track is. Uh, Lady D, I Thank like that you. one. Um, and also, you know, I mean, something that I watched you go through last year, Holly, and uh, which I loved was the way you changed your life to help Helena, you know, a friend of both of ours, um, go through her her illness. And you know, you wrote a beautiful song for her as well, uh, which we are playing underneath us right now. What did Helena's death teach you, and that process of looking after it? Um, I think I just realised that, you know, any friends or family of mine could leave us, you know, leave at any minute. And although lucky's not the right word, I had the opportunity with Elena to, you know, constantly tell her I loved her and just appreciate every moment with her. And so I feel like I just had to start doing that with everybody because mm. you just don't know how long you've got. And it was just um, a big lesson and I guess just not taking people for granted and just, you know, not letting big little things become big things. That's the thing, isn't it? Life is actually really short. You've short. got to tell the ones you love them that you love them because you yeah. never know. When you perform that song, which is beautiful, you wrote that with her husband. Yes, right? I did for their wedding, yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. When you perform it now, does it? How, can you get through it? I mean, it must be quite emotional. Sometimes. Um, most of the time, actually, I find it. I get very, very, very passionately involved in the song. So I go and go the other way, but there has been a few moments where I don't have quite made it through. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's and so that cool. is fine. OK, I'm going to find out a little bit more about you, some quick fire questions, OK? Whereabouts were you born? Auckland. Auckland. Whereabouts did you grow up? North Shore, don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> no judgement here, girlfriend. <laughs> um, what do your parents do? Um, my dad is a printing vet and plays guitar and covers bands, and my mum's 
um, an athlete. She just did her first Ironman recently at 60. Wow! Oh, marathons and tri- She's like a crazy person. That's <laughs> 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 Anyone who yeah. runs for fun is crazy. <laughs> um, I totally agree. Uh, so where did, you, where did all this musical ability from yours come? Obviously your dad does it as a bit of a hobby, the, um, the playing the guitar, but where yeah, did you come? Yeah, he, he's always played, you know, sort of blues rock guitar around me since I was little and um, plays in, I mean, spent a lot of time in pubs with Dad when I was little, not much change to be fair, but, um, <laughs> but then, yeah, he used to play, um, my stepdad as well, my mum's husband um, is a really um, mm. wonderful musician, Steve McDonald, so when they got together I kind of saw a different aspect of music because he did more Celtic kind of stuff. So, yeah, I just had um, that, but my grand, my granddad was really musical, and so, yeah. Oh, no, OK. My mum thinks she is, but... <laughs> <she's> <laughs> oh, but my mum runs yeah. marathons. <laughs> yeah, she does. Yes. Um, now, quickly, just before we go, this tour is obviously going to be spectacular. It's, it's stripped back a little, and yep. Marika is your basis. Does she go on tour with you, and how long have you walked with her? Walked with her. Oh, um, worked, worked with her. her. <laughs> we don't work quite a bit, actually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, we have worked together for quite a few years now. She's an incredibly talented musician. She was definitely my sidekick on the album and helped me with a lot of stuff on that as well. Um, amazing guitar player as well, so she'll be playing guitar today with me. But, um, yeah, she is um, going to be joining me on that. We've kind of got... We're both playing guitars and bass and things and stuff yeah. happening. So we've got a nice right. little, yeah. nice mm. little duo kind of thing happening. Good cool. work. Hey, thank you so much for yeah, popping thanks, out. Holly. Can't yeah. wait. You can check out Holly's website for details of her three-day South Island acoustic tour with Marika on her website. And don't go anywhere. She'll be performing for us right here very soon with Marika on guitar. Can't wait for that. <laughs> you say